queen of all things indie, Miss Motherfucking Lovey, right here at Love the Jam Radio, www.lovethenumber2jamradio.com. And you guys are here with me and pop up TV for the checker school. What first got you into the music industry? Um, the independent music industry, I first got into it. I was in the military, um, and I was deployed all over the world. A lot of people don't know I'm a veteran or whatever. Um, and it, like the only thing we had was internet radio. And I didn't know about any of the artists that were you know, playing, essentially, because they were independent artists. And so having that expo having been exposed to it and coming back to stateside and wanting to find these artists and finding out that they're in my community um, and they're touchable and I could create a platform, you know. So when I got out of the military, I still had that passion for independent artists, um, and I, I rock with it. You know, I love music. Music is is worldwide. It's something that we all can relate to, and I've seen that in different cultures. And you know, I love hip hop. I always have and. Now that I again got out the military, um, I keep looking at you. Stop looking at me. Okay. <laughs> um, now that I got out the military, you know, I just stayed with the passion and it's been successful. You know? Oh, <laughs> see, Gary, y'all gotta watch Gary because he's a sneaky look. He will sneak him in on you. Um, yes, I love music. I write. I wrote a lot of music before poetry. Um, when I first came to the city, I did a mixtape. I work with a whole bunch of artists now that's like, I guess, you know, developed on their music journey and here I am a platform and then I was actually their, you know, peers. So yeah, definitely I did some um, music. Okay, with your platform, what do you have to offer an artist that's different from a regular platform? I know there's platforms all over Houston right now. Right, there are platforms all over Houston, but what we offer here is an organic artist experience. We offer quality, independent artist content, um, good, good experiences, great artist experiences, education, you know, top quality services. Um, overall, it's a vibe, you know. If you're if you're really an artist or you're really out here working and you're trying to get seen and get heard, and let a jam doesn't come up in the, in your general conversation in your network, then you gotta you gotta work. Harder, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm out here. I'm not hard to find, and I'm I find new art artists all the time. So that I said what I motherfucking said. What do you have to offer? I know you have the interview area where you can do the interviews, the live interviews, the radio, but you also have. Oh yeah, we are a whole one-stop shop essentially. We have a green screen for rental. Shout out to my business partners, uh, Franklin Land Films. That's Carl Nealon, and we got Kalani on the beach, y'all. Dopest producer in the city, if you ask me. We got two studios in the back, so it's really it's a vibe. When I say it's a vibe, it's a real vibe. Like, uh, you if you want to come here, you want to get your music made. You want to get your beat made from scratch. If you want to shoot a video, a promo video, you have uh, consultations for small films. Or if you want to get your shit out on our platform, putting it on a play, royalty paying, DRT track platform, then you know it's all in one building. You can come in one building, we'll get you all the way together. So, uh, yes, definitely quality content. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Not just any any underground artists that just bring that music up there. That music has to be uh, registered, right? Yeah, if you want your if you want your royalties now, I do accept like mixtape tracks. You know what I mean here, because we do play those. If it's something dope and you dropping a mixtape and you got some dope bars, you know we we do play that. Of course, that doesn't qualify for royalties, but your shit will still be getting heard if you're trying to be heard. So out of all the artists in Houston, I'm gonna just say Houston. Okay. What artists you have an interview that you would like to uh, Independent artists that I haven't interviewed that I would like to interview. Um, you know who I really want to interview? Um, I think they're called TOD. I think it's, yeah, TOD, Topic of Discussion. It's, it's a female duo group. And they are so amazing. I follow them on Instagram and I've seen their shows and I know they just had a concert or they're having a concert coming up. So, you know, I've just been seeing them work a lot. Another, I'm going to have to slide another one in there. And I think I haven't interviewed Sauce Walker in like a real way. You know what I mean? Like I've interviewed him in like a public where there's other people interviewing him. But having a real sit down with this nigga and having, you know, chopping it up with him and peeling, peeling through the layers. You know what I mean? 
Um, that's that. I would definitely love that. <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yes, please do. Yes. The internet has practically taken over the uh, music game. True. What is the biggest change you have seen since the internet? Uh, as far as music? Um, the biggest change I've seen is the amount of people that feel like since other people are doing music and they see rap, they feel like they can do it, you know? Just because you can do something don't mean you can do something, you know? Like, you can do it, but you can't really just do it. You know what I'm saying? So, I've seen that a lot. The internet has made everybody uh, a rap star or say that they're a rapper. And, you know, you're not really just out here for real, for serious, trying to do this shit. You're just clogging up the main line. But, you know, it is what it is. When it comes to that, but that's the biggest. I agree. I agree. Yes. What's your favorite song out right now? Um, my favorite song out right now is by Lil Pat. He just dropped the album. Shout out to Lil Pat. Uh, I believe it's called Second Quarter. Uh, and the song is called Nightstand. Nightstand. Yeah, and it has a real Houston feel to it to me. Um, and it just talk about some real shit, like you know, uh, some some motivational hustling type shit, some foreign car driving type shit. You know, I'm here with it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everybody ain't your friend, you know? Everybody ain't your friend. Some people just want your glow, you know? That's it. They just want to be around you. They want to, you know, soak up your, your sunlight and, and shine on their own. And somebody told me that, like, you know, your glow is not transferable. Shout out to 3D and T. Yeah. Go yes, she do. That's the, she told me that. Facts. What's next for Letter Jam? Um, Letter Jam Radio does have some things in the works. Um, on some building with artists on more of a marketing tip developing them and their products and you know putting them in, in situations where they are being heard and seen you know back doors to platforms they wouldn't normally be able to access through love and jam radio um and hopefully we have something coming up with pop-up tv you know i've known this cat for a minute and i just appreciate this opportunity but i definitely want to do some real work with you um you know i'm Approaching the end of the gate there. I can see it coming. So I'm trying to come <laughs> and get it together. You feel me? Um, yeah. Okay, so right now today, we have a real live woman's movement. I, I appreciate this. From a woman to a woman. Uh -huh. What advice would you give another female in everyday life? Yeah. I would have to say, be, be the change that you want to see. Uh, a lot of us get caught in this negative spiral and we just give up mentally and we give up emotionally and you lose hope, you know, and I have to tell her, you know, I would tell a, a young lady that, you know, be the change that you, that you want to see. It's, yeah, I mean, I will also say, even though it's a female movement, that means that's not necessarily saying that all the females are on the same shit. It's more or less like it's a female movement, meaning people are more receptive to female rappers. We're getting indoors more easily. It's not as difficult. And you have peers that's, you know, on the same level as you that you can work with and build with if you choose to do so or battle with or, you know, how, however you feel the need to do so. So, yeah, the gate is wide open for females and sex does sell. But there are other avenues and other females that also you know, perpetuate female strength and, and femininity and being beautiful and being yourself and, you know, be the change you want to see. 
if you don't want to see bitches popping and twerking and shit, don't be popping and twerking and shit. Be the change that you want to see. Yes, I had an amazing, amazing time here. Why do you think females are having opportunity now? From back then to right now, what has changed? Uh, society as a whole has changed. Uh, the women's role has changed. Uh, how we view sexuality has changed. Where before it was a modest thing and women were portrayed as, as fairly frail and, you know, they were sexual but it was like a, a quiet sexual. Now it's like screaming sexuality and everything is so overexposed that people are used to it and, you know, that's the main difference. Back then, you know, it wasn't, not even say back then, but prior to this, Sex was only available to, not available, but you know, a limited amount of exposure to it. Right. Now, with everything being so wide open and the internet, and you have all these platforms, it's like sex is everywhere, and people are capitalizing on it. Exactly. Um, and the most, I guess, the most <laughs> important part of a sexual encounter is a woman. So, of course, <laughs> the women are going to float to the top for the most part. Yeah, y'all have it, man. Live on the stool. Love it. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you lock in with us if you want to submit your music. L2JRadio at gmail.com. MP3, it can be dirty. Yes, it can be dirty because we keep it real over here. If you want to book an interview, inbox me at W E L U V, the number two jam. Or you can just visit the website, submit music, send emails, contact us. Otherwise, I'm out here. I'm, I'm easy to find. You know, find me at your local open mic now that COVID's slowing down a little bit. Um, and I'm Miss Lovey, the queen of all things indie. And thank you guys for joining me on the checker stool. Y'all make sure y'all be looking out for the seminars. It's gonna cost you a little bit, but it's gonna be worth it. Definitely worth it. Salute is lovely. Thank you guys. Salute is down. Hey. Radio.com.